Hi and welcome to the video training of JavaScript. In this video training, we will be learning about a try-catch block in JavaScript. The try-catch statement marks a block of statements to try and specifies a response should an exception be thrown. The try-catch statement is divided into mainly two parts, the try block and the catch block. So for example, if you are calling a non-existent function, it means that any function that you haven't defined in your code, it returns an error and this error is caught by the catch block. And in catch block, we are using console.error and outputting the error in the browser console. So expected output is reference error, not existent function is not defined. Note error messages will vary depending on browser. Now let's see this in action. I'm going to create a new project uh, called try catch. Okay, in try catch I'm going to use sublime editor try catch dot html and here I'm going to define a script block. Here we are going to call the try catch function a non existent function, a fun function which I haven't uh, defined anywhere in my code. And here we are catching the error and console.log error. Now, if I save this file and if I go to one of my folders, so home uh, projects JavaScript, and here is try catch. If I double click it, and open in the browser now I should go to develop more tools developer tools and into the console log here you can see an error it's a reference error non-existent function is not defined at try catch so basically we have caught the error and displayed the error in a very elegant way instead of the uh, red uh, error that is generated by the browser so it is delicately caught by the code so mainly try catch is usually have finally function as well finally block as well so try statements catch statements and then finally statements the statements of try statements are to be executed in any way and then the catch statement statement that is executed if an exception is thrown in the try block then we have the exception variable, an optional identifier to hold an exception object for the associated catch block. At the end we have finally statements, statements that are executed after the try statement completes. These statements execute regardless of whether an ex exception was thrown or, no or caught. So for example if I define a finally block here and I say game over and if I save this file and if I go to my browser and refresh it you see I get game over and if I define the function here function non-existent function and it say hello world and now if I run my code again in the browser and refresh it you see I see hello world and game over so basically even if the catch block is not executed in this current example finally is executed in any case so if you want to uh, add up something to the try catch block and you want that code to be executed regardless of that the try block was executed or the catch block was executed you should put it here in the finally block I hope you understood this point and uh, thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my youtube channel techweber you can also contact me if you need any help thanks